the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this video, I'll show you how to rotate and flip the whole image, layers, and selections, and then in general talk about transformations. Let's look at rotating the entire image. You can do this in different ways. As you may have seen before, there is a counterclockwise rotate button on the taskbar, and you can click the arrow next to it to bring up the clockwise rotation. You can also do this in the photo bin. Bring it up, then right click on the thumbnail, and you can choose to rotate 90 degrees left or right. Another way to do this is to go to the image menu up top, go to rotate, and you can choose 90 degrees left, right, or 180. You can also choose a custom rotation and just enter in the angle you want, choose right or left, and click OK. So I'll just enter in a 45 degree angle here and click OK. Now you can see that the image has changed size, the canvas is bigger, and you can see this black color in the background. That's because we have the background color over here set to black. So I'm just going to do Control Z to undo. Now let's look at flipping the image. You can also think of this as mirroring. You can go up to Image, Rotate, and you can flip horizontal or vertical. This is what horizontal looks like, and this is what vertical looks like. Now I just undid those changes. I'll give you a brief overview of rotating and flipping a layer. I'll talk more in depth about layers in a future chapter of this course because it's a very important feature. Go over here to the right to bring up the layers panel. You can see that we just have one layer here that the image is on. If you draw something on the image, add a shape or text, these things will be added on a new layer automatically. So I'm just going over here to the custom shape tool and I'll pick a shape, and let's say I add this speech bubble. Now you can see that the shape has its own layer. You can still rotate and flip the entire image with the same steps as before, or you can choose to rotate only the selected layer. If you go back to Image and Rotate, now you have the options to rotate the layer itself and flip it. So this is what it looks like if I flip the layer vertically. Now let's talk about rotating and flipping selections. I'm just going to delete this layer I made, and I'll go over here to this Refine Selection Brush tool and choose the Quick Selection tool. I'll go into selections more in depth in a future chapter, so don't worry if you're not familiar with these. I'm going to use this tool to select a part of my image, And now you can see these marching ants along the edges that show the boundaries of my selection. If you go up to the image menu again, under Rotate, now you have these options to rotate the selection and flip the selection. So this is what it looks like if I choose 90 degrees left. You can see that the selection has rotated and not the entire image. And you can also see the background peeking through. I'll use Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo again. And I'm going to keep this selected to show you how to transform. Under the Image menu, go down to Transform, and you can see these different options here. Free Transform will allow me to move this selection by using this box. I can rotate it, I can stretch it out, and one thing to note is this little box down here with all these dots. This is my reference point location or you can think of this as the pivot point. It's currently set to the middle, but if I set it to be the top right corner, now when I transform it, it's anchored by that point. I'm going to cancel that and show you another type of transform, which is skew. So go up to Image Transform Skew, and once you have that click, you can drag the corners to manipulate your selection in a different way. I'll just cancel that. And that wraps up this video about rotating, flipping, and transforming. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.